Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Cross and I am here with Dixie Andalyn Forsyth for a feminine moment. And um, I suggested to Dixie that we just do some random questions today off the Facebook group. And one of our ladies just posted um, a question. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna throw this at you and see how you respond, okay Dixie? Okay. All right, so this is the question. What's the best way to handle a man refusing to help you? I asked one of my brothers for his help doing something that required strength, and he refused and told me to do it myself. After I'd already said I tried but couldn't, so I got mad since I felt it was such a simple task. And I responded, I'm too pretty for this. I'll go ask Brother B, you know, as in her Another other brother. brother. Yes. I think he was surprised and I wondered how he felt when I walked by later with my other brother who gladly helped me. So the question is, I'll go back to her first sentence, which is what's the best way to handle a man ref refusing to help you? It sounds like she handled it pretty well. It did, childlikeness. Yeah, childlikeness. That doesn't mean that if you respond with childlikeness, you're gonna get a certain response that you expect out of him. You don't know what's going on in his mind when you do that. You're making a, you're making a statement, you're uh, taking a stand, but you're not expecting anything of him. I mean, some, some guys are kind of jerks. And <laughs> I know you're shocked and surprised. But no, no. Some, some, and I'm sure most of us have known one here and there <laughs> who just really don't respect women. I mean, there's all kinds of people in this world a fascinating womanhood is most effective on men who are actually basically good guys. Mm -hmm. And some are not so good. And, uh, and we just, our best thing with them is to react like she did and then just move on and don't, you know. Yeah, don't, don't waste any more your, your time. Your goal isn't like, what do I do if he doesn't do what I expect? That's, that's sort of like, you. gosh, you know, he, um, he didn't respond well. It's, this is not accepting him at face value, even though you may think that it is. You're free when you accept him at face value because you think, oh, okay, he isn't very polite. I will respond the way I need to respond with my femininity and my spunk. Mm -hmm. and what his response to that is, is up to him, whatever. I love that. Because then you're free. Then you don't have to watch and wait for this yeah. response that you want or hoping to get. That falls a little bit more into manipulation, even though you're not, you're not realizing you're doing that. The reason manipulation is so bad is because when, when he doesn't respond that way, then it's very frustrating because you feel like you have to get that response out of him and you don't. Childlikeness is for you and for it to help you. It also has a great side effect. It usually mm -hmm. uh, gets a, a certain response out of a guy, but you don't expect it. it you know, for good guys, they, you don't they, expect it. I think part of where we go wrong is that we do expect it. So she did childlikeness. Um, and she doesn't know what was going on in his head. Yeah, and, and wasn't expecting time. that response. Yeah, and, and not only that, he, it may take time. Yeah. I don't know anything about this these people or this person this brother don't know what he's been through nothing so I'd, st I'd still be that way because it's the best way to be it causes the least friction makes you feel the best about yourself and his response is completely up to him and you've done the right thing and you get the other brother and he'll see that maybe in time he will I mean because if you've had a different reputation with this person of not being so feminine. I don't know what she's right. done. We don't know Let's her say she has, it Maybe she's uh, gotten mad at him or whatever. It may be in time, he doesn't really believe that she's really changed. And some people are more guarded that way. I mean, I've known people like that and people who were just jerks. Have you ever been around a guy that you felt like, you think he doesn't even know me and he, I get the feeling he doesn't like women? Yes. Yeah. And um, those aren't the kind of men we're talking about. No. Better keep your distance from guys like that. Because when you feel like someone doesn't like you just because you're female or because you're a certain color or a certain religion or whatever, just minimize your contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for answering that question. We will be back with more questions for Dixie. Everybody watching, please like, comment, and share. We do try to answer everybody's question. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.